Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to name all real square roots. Well, thanks to the fundamental theorem of algebra, we know that whatever the degree of the polynomial is, that's the number of roots we have. So if we have a polynomial that's x to the 6 plus x to the 4th, you know, plus 3, we know there's going to be 6 roots to that problem. But that does not tell us how many real roots versus how many complex roots, right? Which include imaginary numbers. If we have a polynomial like x squared plus 16, we don't have any real answers to this. We know that there's two possible roots, but when we solve it, right, we get x squared equals negative 16. And then when we square root both sides, we say, uh-oh, that's now an imaginary number, right? We, that's not a real square root because you're square rooting a negative number. That's imaginary. So this doesn't have any real square roots. It only has complex. Is there any real roots? It only has complex roots. But if you have x squared minus 16, that we can factor, right? We get x squared equals 16. So the two roots are... 4 and negative 4. So in this case, there are two roots, right? And these, both of these roots are real. So we have two real roots. So in order to find the number of real roots, you are going to have to solve the problem. But you can always use the fundamental theorem of algebra to figure out how many total roots there are. You just don't know until you solve it which ones are complex and which ones are real. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with us today.